Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vinyl collection. And I was going to do a vinyl and cassette collection, but that would be a really long video and it might get boring. So if you want to see my cassette collection too, leave a comment down below. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what vinyls I have, where I got them, and what they look like on my record player and how good they sound. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> this is where I keep all my records and then on top is my record player. It's from the company Sony, but I don't know exactly what store I got it from. But just things like that. And yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's so many. I didn't even realize I had this many. My vinyls are separated by era, but the top ones are just random because I listen to them the most and I want to be able to find them easy. But most of them are separated by era. So the first vinyl I have is my Purple Rain Prince vinyl. I love this album so much. I just think it's a classic and that everyone should have this in their collection if they have a record collection. I got this from Urban Outfitters for like 20 bucks, I think. I mean, it's kind of a good deal. It's in really good, good condition because it is brand new and it came with a poster and the best songs. My favorite song on this is probably When Doves Cry or Purple Rain just because they're classics. This is what the back looks like. One of my biggest pet peeves with people that collect vinyl is when they touch the ridges because you, the oil from your fingers will get on the vinyl and make it sound really bad and ruin them. So if I accidentally touch them, I'm sorry. It makes me mad too because I don't want to ruin my records, but it gets hard putting them back in the like packaging or whatever with like trying to like get it in. Okay. The next album I have is my Beatles Rubber Soul album. I was actually so happy when I saw this because I saw this at a record. I saw it at a thrift store. I think it was a Goodwill too. And it's really rare to find anything that a Goodwill is now, but I was so happy when I saw this. I listen to this record a lot just because it's a classic. My favorite song on this album is I'm Looking Through You. The next vinyl I have is, I'm gonna stop saying the next vinyl because I'm obviously showing you my vinyl, so. But yeah, uh, this is the Beatles, it's also a Beatles one, but this is Abbey Road. This is my favorite Beatles album, I know. It's everyone's favorite Beatles album, but it's just so good. It's so good. But the thing that doesn't feel good is finding them at places like Target or Urban Outfitters where they're super expensive. I always feel the best when I find them at thrift stores because I know they'll be amazing and also be super cheap. But when I find amazing ones at like Target and stuff, which is where I found this one is Target, I know it'll be super expensive, but it was worth it. But my favorite one on this one's obviously here comes the sun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's probably everyone's favorite, but I don't care. So on this side, it's like a green apple, and then this side is like a green apple cut in half. Most of my, ooh, most of my um, vinyl is just black, and I think it's just more traditional, but colored vinyl can be cool too. But yeah, this baby was like 20 bucks. Here comes the sun. Okay, the next couple of vinyls are more new, not old like most of my vinyls are, but the first one I have is this Wallows Nothing Happens vinyl. I got this from Urban Outfitters, and we all know how I feel about expensive vinyls. <laughs> it was worth it though, because where am I going to find a Wallows record at a thrift store? Exactly. This is one of my colored ones. It's It's just like orange color. It's really pretty though. Like it's really bright and vibrant. My favorite song on this album is Are You Bored Yet? Obviously. Um, but Are You Bored Yet on vinyl? It is. Next, I have 
Next I have my Calpurnia uh, vinyl. I got this from their website, the Calpurnia website, because I went to their concert and I really wanted their vinyl. I got their vinyl before I went to the concert actually. Okay. Got this support before I went to the California concert. They were really good. Like their band is just so good. Like they're so unique. It's like indie indie rock, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Please, don't, if I'm wrong, please don't be mean. But anyways, this is also one of my colored vinyl that I have. It's like really cool. It's like green with like black designs in it. I've never seen anything like this before. Like it's honestly super creative. And I really like it. I love every song on this album, so I can't even pick a favorite because they're all so good. Ooh, I forgot where the posters, frick. Okay, rewind, so with my Purple Rain album, I got a poster in it, and with my Wallows vinyl, I got a poster in it, and then with my Calpurnia vinyl, I got a poster in it. Okay, we'll rewind back. Next I have my Stranger Things record. This one's really good because even though it's a new show, all the music are classics because it's an 80s based show. So they have like the best 80s, 70s music on here. This one opens, it has all the music on this side and like scene pictures on this side. There's two records in here. They both look like this. And they have like, um, dialogue in them so if you're listening to like time after time by cindy lopper two seconds later dustin from stranger things will start talking it's kind of cool so yeah this is the front this is the front next i have my michael jackson thriller record i got this from uh a, an actual record store but this one's just black I love so many songs on this album, but I think Beat It or Thriller are my favorite. And this record was, I think, like 20 bucks as well. This is the front, this is the back, and it opens. Ooh. This next vinyl is like my favorite because when I got it, I was happy, and then when I listened to it, I'm happy. This is just the best vinyl I have in my collection, basically. It's just so amazing. I love it. Next to Purple Rain. But this one's really good. I love it. Um, Men at Work, Business as Usual. This album, if you've never heard it, go go on Spotify right now. Like, listen to it. Down Under is my favorite song on this album. I was just lucky enough to find this at the same record store as the Thriller album. And this was like $2. Like, this was actually a steal. Cause it was like in the clearance area. It's funny because most of my records smell old and funny. <laughs> this is, I think this is more my only Madonna record I have. I have more cassettes of Madonna. Sorry if I keep looking up, I'm looking at my mirror. I don't know why, I just keep looking at myself. This is what it looks like. It's kind of weird how the opening at the top though. Because all the other ones are at the side, but this one's at the top for some odd reason. I don't know. But yeah. This was like a dollar at a thrift store, too. Next, I have my Rod Stewart vinyl. This is like two in one, as well as the Stranger Things one. It opens. It has two vinyls. I'm just going to show you one because they're both the exact same. It's black with music on it. They have, it has like the little Warner Brothers, holy crap, it's up and down. It has a little Warner Brothers um, record thing on it, like the little logo. I think it's pretty. I, I got this from my third store, I'm pretty sure. Next I have Michael Jackson's brother, Jermaine Jackson. I got this from an 80s store. Is it Jermaine? If it's not Jermaine, I'm gonna get bullied. Not only get bullied, I'm not in the mood. My Barbra Streisand Memories album. 
this is such a good album and i was so lucky enough to find this at a thrift store i got this for like a dollar like what but yeah that's what it looks like Next is my Chariots of Fire album, record, vinyl. There's so many things I could say. This is my Chariots of Fire record, Chariots of Fire album, Chariots of Fire vinyl. Like, there's so many things to say, and I keep saying all of them. Like, um, my dad actually found this one when we were at a thrift store because I wasn't paying attention. But this, like, um, vinyl is actually so pretty. Like, I love the cover of it. It's like all these people running on the beach. Like, it's so pretty. Look at it. Look how pretty that is. And the back. Next, um, I don't really know the, this band that much, Gap Bands, Gap Band V, German. Yeah, my dad actually like um, said I should get this one because he listened to it when he was younger. And I've listened to some of the songs on here, it's pretty good. Like, not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, I don't have a favorite because I haven't listened to it that much, but it was a dollar at a thrift store. Oh my gosh, this, I can't even stop looking at this one. Art Garfunkel. Art Garfunkel. Art Garfunkel watermark. Anyways, I got this record from a Goodwill for a dollar. Also, I know the paper sleeves are actually really bad for records. And I want to get like the other kind of sleeves, but I don't know where to get them. So if you do, leave a comment down below. This is what it looks like. A lot of my records are just black with a red inside. So if it looks repetitive, I can see it too. I feel so bad for people having to see me touch the radios every once in a while. Like it's so gross. Thank like, you. Elton John, Elton John, his madman across the water. My favorite song on this album is Tiny Dancer. I'm sorry. Just like. Looks like. I got this from a thrift store as well for like a dollar. I know, right? Like so many of my records are thrifted and so many of them are so cool. I don't know how I find them either. It's kind of whack. This one opens like some of the other ones I have. next one it's a neil diamond beautiful noise i haven't listened to this one like at all really i've listened to like maybe twice but i saw it at a thrift store and i was like neil diamond that's cool i got it because it was a dollar there it is again just black with red inside like all my other records uh, but this one opens as well Next one, this also was what my dad found that I didn't really know what it was. Don Ho, Hawaii's Greatest Hits. Something called like To You, Sweetheart Aloha. That's it. Is that one on here? Yeah, it's on here. Uh, I, I listened to this one a couple of times, but I don't know like the artists or songs that like well. Some of my records are actually um, one my parents have shown me that I could get them, so. Like every once in a while, I'll show you them. I won't know what they are because I didn't choose them. This next one, I okay. I don't know. I don't even know why I got this. <laughs> Lee Lover did. So okay, I just got it because of Denver on it, and I thought like it was from Denver, Colorado. And I was like, oh, Colorado. I'm from Colorado. Oh my gosh. I I, I don't even think I've listened to this before. Why did I even get this? Probably because it was a dollar at the store. It's pretty though. Next, oh my gosh, there's so many left. Next I have the Statler Bros. I haven't listened to this one that much either, but I do know who they are. This is like country kinda, but I mean, it's not terrible. I don't listen to that much country, but they're, they're pretty good. I think it's like a 70s band, right? Yeah, they're 70s. I have my Leo Sayer Thunder in, Thunder, yeah. Thunder in the Heart record. My sister got this for me for a present, I'm pretty sure. This was from a record store, $8, I think. Little tree. My mom told me I should get this one. This is Bette Midler. I actually really like this album. Uh, 
The Divine Miss M. Ooh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I listened to this a couple weeks ago because I, I was looking up on it. But she's really good. My mom said I should get it, like I said, and I actually ended up really liking it. And because this is thrifted, it's like not perfect, it's broken. You can see with all like my thrifted albums, they're like ripped and paid in some places. But the fact that the records still work, that's all that matters. I really love you and we're gonna get mad. Next, okay, this isn't a record. Well, it's supposed to be a record. I got this from a flea market. It was supposed to be a carpenter's record. I got a poster in it that's hanging on my wall. And I got this other poster in it. But the record's not in it, so... Like, that, that's rude, isn't it? Rude. I really wish I got the record this one, though. I really like the Carpenters. Next, ooh, I have another Barbra Streisand record. Um, ugh, I have, like, oh, this taste in my mouth. Ugh. There it is, the black with the red in the middle. I got this from a thrift store for, like, a dollar. Uh, let's see what it looks like. my Judy Garland one. This is actually such a cute little record because it's when she was older but she sings a lot of like old songs she sang. I got this from a thrift store for a dollar. Somewhere over the rainbow on here. It's like so adorable. This is what it looks like. The, the Carpenter's album I actually have a record in it. Um Oh yeah, this one like opens all cool. This one like, it opens like this, like this, and then like that. Pretty cool. That's what it looks like. This was from the store. It was like a dollar. Next, okay. This one's pretty good. It's a Beach Boys album, but this is like them singing live. It wasn't as good. But, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, but this is from a record store. It was like $10, $15, I think. That's what it looks like. But yeah, I was kind of disappointed. I should have read it better because on it, it says, um, wow, great concert. So it meant, like, this is a concert. Yeah. Next, I have a Donna Summer album, Four Seasons of Love. This is from a record store as well. And I think this was $10. This is what it looks like. Next, oh yeah, this is another one my parents said I should get. This is Captain and Ten Nail. Love will keep us together. Wait, this album's familiar. I think I actually know this album. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure my mom told me I should get this one. Wait a minute. Disney Girls. No, I do know this album. Let's see what it looks like. is my Pete, Paul, and Mary moving album. I got some extra stuff for a dollar though. It's cool. It has the same little Warner Brother thing. But it's like different. Not as cool, but pretty cool. Next, I have this like Just America. Uh, I thought it was cool because it had Dinky Doodle on it. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna jam out to Yankee Doodle on the record player, so I got this from a thrift store for like a dollar. Oh, my breakfast at Tiffany's album. Oh my gosh, I literally love this album. My breakfast at Tiffany's album, my favorite song is obviously Breakfast at Tiffany's. Audrey Hepburn, she's a queen, angel, like oh my gosh. And I found this at a thrift store. Like, imagine finding a breakfast at Tiffany's album at a thrift store. That's crazy. Yeah, I got this for a dollar at a thrift store. Ooh, Song of the Islands. This is like full of like Hawaiian sounding songs. And it's just so calming. Like it helps like when you're doing work or anything like that. It's just like really nice to listen to. But like it's so pretty too. It looks like. I got this for a dollar at a thrift store.
next? Why would I get this one again? All I know is there's like old like songs on it. I don't know why I got this. I remember like getting it and thinking it was someone else I think and then I came home I looked it up and like those songs on it are pretty cool because like an orchestra plays in it and it's like old music like old old but, like it's pretty and like the music is pretty good and it ended up being cool but not as cool as I thought it was gonna be you know that's so cool it was only a dollar at the store so that's cool what we only have this much left oh my gosh we're almost done next is the four seasons record um the same thing with the songs of the islands or whatever i thought they were both pretty i got them at the same time i thought they were both pretty and i started listening to the music on them and they were actually really good yeah this is really good to listen to while you're doing work it's sad it looks like and this is it all out of the store Okay, I only got this one. Okay, it's the Letterman. Put your head on my shoulder. And I only got this because of the song, Put Your Head on My Shoulder. And it wasn't the original person who sings it, but they still sound pretty good and I really like this song. So I'm so glad I got this, even though I got it just because of the one song. I got this for a dollar at a thrift store. Put your head on my shoulder. Next one is a Charlie Barnett one. Um, I saw it at a thrift store and I got it for a dollar and I was like, might as well. Ooh, this next one, um, Jukebox Saturday Night. Um, it looks so 50s on the front and I started looking at the music and I was like, this is so like 50, but yeah, I got this for a dollar at a thrift store. What it looks like. Funny girl. Uh, this is such a good play or musical, or whatever you want to call it. Musical, basically. Because if it was a play, there wouldn't be an album with music on it. Musical. <laughs> it opens like this. Because I got this at a thrift store for a dollar, it is like ripped and stuff, so it's confusing on how to open it. And obviously, I love this because of Barbara Streisand. And I love Barbara Streisand. So. But yeah. Don't bring her on a plane. Next, my mom's gonna get this one, Oklahoma, and this is also a musical, it looks like. I got this for a dollar at a thrift store as well. This is another um, musical, The King and I. I got this for a dollar at a thrift store as well. Looks like. next ones okay they're low-key a joke i'm not kidding so at first i had mother goose okay i don't know it's just cute it's like little nursery rhymes and stuff like for little kids i think it's so cute like look at that there's a little freaking um panda on thing like it's adorable what do you mean um this is a sing-along one just like the um nursery rhyme one i thought it was funny and cute because like a little kid listen to this when they're little probably because either from their stores that I got for a dollar so that means someone had it when they were younger or they had it before me and it's just adorable thing you like some little kid was just jumping out and that's my whole vinyl collection I hope you enjoyed I hope you got some new music taste ideas because I love music and I know a lot of other people like music too so hearing new music talking about new music is really good because you want to try to listen and think of new things you could like you know what i'm saying um yeah i hope you enjoyed uh make sure you give this video a like and leave a comment down below which record was your favorite and leave a comment down below if you have the same record as me that'd be kind of cool because most of them are thrifted but um yeah also make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you next week and also, make sure to comment if you want to see my cassette collection.